Well, OBS just crashed and I've brought it back to life. I can't say for sure though if we've gone live. I'm just in uh, my everything screen. I can't even tell, like, is this working? Hello, can you see me? Hello, hello. OBS no longer appears to be crashed. It looks like it's working, though I can't say for sure. I uh, would love it if somebody was in the chat and could say hello. Uh, it cut out with like 10 seconds left on the, um, uh, on the countdown screen. Let me know. Well, well, welcome. Uh, today we're building a couple of TKLs. Yep, it's working, says Meanish. Thank you, thank you, and Dr. Doom Apple. Welcome to everybody who's on the stream, and uh, Disporium is also here. Um, where, where do I start with this? Where do I start to tell you the story or not tell you the story? I'm not sure. Um, I know it's been a very, very long time since I started, um, since I started, since I last streamed. Uh, there's many, many things that are uh, awry. Many things. The computer is constantly crashing, uh, so there's that. Um, the other thing is my network has been terrible, so if this starts to skip or uh, drop, don't be surprised, uh, or at least don't act surprised. Uh, but also, I am now officially time poor. So this goes this way. Uh, so I'm struggling with uh, less and less time. Well, one of these keyboards, uh, this one right here, I'm going to be making for my cousin. Uh, his name is Joe. He's a super cool dude. Uh, Joe, this one is yours. And uh, randomly, uh, some, uh, some dude uh, contacted me this morning and asked about uh, making a TKL. And I thought, well, I'm just about to make a TKL. I could probably make this one. Um, so I will. Uh, he asked for Zelio 65 grams, uh, which I have in this little bucket. Whereas Joe, what's that? Careful. Uh, do you want to? Do you want me to clean it up? Where is it? Uh, that was Steph. Everybody, Steph. Uh, Colec 94 says recommend me a good keyboard for traveling, for a Mac. Well, you're probably not going to get much smaller than this which is the JD40. Oh, that was upside down. This. Uh, you can see it compared to a TKL, it just fits like this. Uh, no number keys, uh, reduced layout, uh, and of course you can get it in carbon fiber, so it's super light to travel. Uh, I have another one. I have another one of those JD40s right here. Uh, this one is stainless steel, so quite a bit heavier. Uh, and it's got my grab bag keys on it. As you can tell, look at how awesome this bag is coming to life. It is awesome. Uh, the JD40 is fully programmable, so it's awesome. You can make it do whatever you want it to do. Uh, or of course, there's 60% uh, carbon fibers. 60% are just that part of the keyboard. Again, fully programmable, so you can make your arrow keys wherever you want them. Huh. I can't throw around the corner. Again, the lovely Stephanie. Uh, does it have Bluetooth? No, none of the keyboards have Bluetooth, but you can add your own Bluetooth module uh, whenever you want. Um, use a cable anyways. Uh, it makes it much more reliable, in my humble opinion. How do you guys like the audio, by the way? Uh, is How is the level? Is it good? Hope it's good. Uh, can I ask uh, a couple of quick favors? One, as I always uh, do, can you guys smash the like button? Uh, as you know, the more likes we get, the more people get to come to the channel. The more people come to the channel, the more awesomeness uh, that happens. So if you could smash that like button, it would be awesome. Um, Great. What am I doing? 
am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, my Mac only has two USB C's. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, gotta get a dongle. That's the whole thing with Max. No? Thought that was the whole thing with Max. Uh, I also use Max, by the way, exclusively. I have a MacBook Pro that I use for work, and I have a. Um, I have an Air, personally. I also have, just to my right here, a uh, Mac Mini. I also have a. Uh, that's it, really. Oh, Steph has a has a Mac as well. Use a lot of Macs. What am I doing? What am I doing here? Oh yeah, I'm. Uh, no, I'm not doing this. What am I doing? I've gone crazy. I'm starting. Start with the stabs. I've just gone crazy. I built these stabs before the stream started. JJ is here. Hey bro, it's Arabian. Uh, Arabian is the dude. Hold on, I'm just gonna go to action cam to show off the uh, uh, clear stabilizer. Um, Arabian is the dude who randomly this morning happened to contact me. Um, Arabian, what you don't know is I haven't streamed in a really long time. And so to suddenly stream and be able to make somebody a keyboard, you don't know how many emails I get about custom keyboards. Um, let's just say it's a lot. Uh, but anyways, happy to build one uh, this morning for you. And uh, of course I'm building it with Zelio 65s, which are in here. They are awesome. Uh, but you can see that I have three stabilizer sets over here, but I'm only building two keyboards. It's because I'm holding out to build another one later. Uh, but as I'm sure you guys can tell, today is the last stream of 2018. Definitely the last stream of 2018. I say that. I got a four hour time limit. I might do a second. Might need a second one today for this. Especially as it's uh, Zelia's. I gotta clip them. What do I buy to add Bluetooth to a JD40? Uh, get one of those um, Bluetooth modules. Uh, they're USB, and you basically plug your device into that. Do you know what I'm talking about? You plug your device into it, it's got a little battery in it, and that makes any device a Bluetooth. Why this isn't going in. Panzer Bjorn is in the house. What's going on? Hey, Pete Heron. What are we building over here? It looks like two Gone Nerd TKLs with carbon plates. That's exactly what it is. There, finally. I don't know why this these aren't quite happy about going in today. Probably just out of practice. There we go. Uh, I started putting these stabilizers together last night. I have like a million streams about keyboards. So if you, this is your first one, uh, I'm not going through all the detail that I normally do. Uh, simply because I thought I would hang out with you guys instead. And spend less time explaining and if you need some explaining well you can go back to some of those other keyboard streams and see in specific detail exactly what I'm up to uh, with the 13 viewers who are here can I ask you guys a favor can you guys share this on social media um, I just figure I just figure nobody really uses their Twitter anymore and so if you have a Twitter would you mind sharing the damn thing it'd be cool it, again it would just be cool to get a whole bunch of new people in here and uh, you know share the love as it were and if you haven't already 
please press like. Is there anybody new here? Anybody, I mean, besides Arabian or JJ? Question, will Cherry MX keycaps fit on this? Uh, JJ, yes, they absolutely will. Uh, so just so you, let me, let me, allow me to pontificate. Um, let me tell you the story of Zelios and how they came to be. So um, there was a switch made in the 1970s by Cherry called the Cherry MX Clear. The Cherry MX Clear, I'm just getting this, was designed for uh, a particular type of keyboard to be used on Wall Street. You see, the idea was, Colec 94, do I count as new? You can. Jose Miguel Maduro, Venezuela. Yep, welcome to the stream. If it's your first time, I hope uh, you enjoy yourself. Thanks very much for saying hello. Um, I'm in the middle of telling the story about Zelios. Okay, so Cherry makes this switch called the Cherry MX Clear. The Cherry MX Clear has a bigger bump than the brown, uh, but doesn't make noise like the blues. The idea being that stockbrokers need to know the point at which they've made a transaction, but if they all start using blue switches, it'll make the trading floor even louder than it already is. And they don't want that. So they create this Bloomberg keyboard with the Cherry MX Clears on it. And the enthusiast community, which appears kind of in the, uh, I guess the 2000, what, 2010s? It's in the 10s, I guess. Um, the community thinks these clear switches are pretty cool. They've got a big bump and whatever else and we like them. Okay, so that's Cherry MX Clear. Well, what do you know? Cherry gets some competitors uh, in 2010 as their patents start to expire. And one of those competitors is a company out of China called Gateron, or actually, I think it's Gateron, but as the keyboard community was so much based around uh, text, at least in the early days, because Let's be honest, there was nobody streaming this stuff. Uh, this new company, Gatoron, uh, emerges and creates Cherry MX clones. So they're just like a Cherry MX switch uh, in every, just about every respect, uh, except, they're, except they're clones. And um, they actually, because they're using new tools and new materials, Gatoron actually... Unlike some of the other competitors, Gatoron actually makes a better switch. So, you know, I do a lot of these, uh, I say a lot, I do two a year trade shows. Like I go to um, Maker Faire New York and I go to um, Comic Con and a lot of people come up and say, I want cherry switches. I say, sure, you know, you can have cherry switches. We sell cherry switches. They're great. But you know what's even better and even less expensive is Gatorons. Gatorons are, uh, they're smoother, uh, they're, they fit tighter, they have less wobble. Um, they're just, they're just a better switch. Of course, no one believes me and they buy cherries anyways, but alas. So Gatoron came out with a bunch of different uh, switches uh, mimicking each in the line of cherry, except one. They didn't copy the Cherry MX Clear. Now, I believe that this is because the patent had not run out on Cherry MX Clear. Uh, I'm not entirely certain, but that's what I believe. And so it fell to a community member to design a Cherry MX Clear competitor for Gatoron, Gatoron, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and that's exactly what one of the community members did. His name is uh, Zeal PC. I won't use his real name. Uh, he designed a Cherry MX Clear variant 
That's to say, uh, it works like a Cherry MX Clear. It has a bigger bump than, say, the Browns. Uh, it, um, yeah, has all these different properties to it. And he decided that what he was going to do uh, was, well, he basically had to charge a commission, as far as I'm aware. I think they might also have to pay some legal fees, but I, I'm not really sure how that works. Uh, I won't, I won't speculate too much on exactly how it does. <clears throat> Excuse me. But all that to say, <coughs> excuse me all that to say uh that what he created as uh, what zeal created um was this switch so let's go to action cam here and a quick look let's see if we can get this to focus you can hear that little whining that's my heater by the way uh but look a clear top and bottom housing that's pretty cool and he also included four different spring weights so this one is a 65 gram, but there's a 62, a 67, and a 78. Now, for my money, Zeal and the Zealios made a major improvement on both Cherry MX Clear and the offering from Gatoron. Now, they do definitely come at a premium price. You know, they are a buck a switch, and, you know, they are more expensive. Uh, but in my opinion, given the four weights, given the feel, given the full clear housing, they are definitely, definitely an improvement. And, you know, let's be, let's be honest, as, aside from... The few of us in here who have more keyboards than uh, fingers. Uh, by the way, I have a lot more than fingers and toes. I almost have as many as I do hairs. And that's not a statement about how much hair I'm losing. Uh, I'm just saying, for most people, spending that little bit of extra money on a, on a switch uh, shouldn't be a barrier. But I know that so much of the keyboard business these days is dominated by how cheap you can get things rather than about how good you can get things. And in my opinion, you just aren't going to get any better in a tactile switch than you are with Zelios. That was story time. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm Ski with Pete. If you're new, please press subscribe. If you're not new, or even if you are new, can you also press like? Because it gets me more viewers and more viewers, more blah, 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 blah. You get it. It's just annoying when, you know, YouTube people just keep reminding you to do that. I understand that too, but it's the game. That is the game. All right. So one of these boards, uh, have you tried this V2 Zelios? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I'm looking forward to it, though. Um, definitely looking forward to it. Now, the Zelios, uh, these especially... Uh, Colex says buy Alps. Yeah, you could, you could buy Alps. Um, but then the keycap selection is very limited. Uh, then talk about price. Uh, what, buy Alps, then talk about price. Oh, I get it. Um, I'm just gonna show off the Zelios here for a second and just show you one of the differences between uh, these Zelios and these speed switches. Um, so these speed switches have a higher actuation point, which makes them speedy. Uh, but one of the differences that is gonna make a difference for this film is that the Zelios on the left have those little pegs you see the little peg by my right thumbnail? Those little pegs, um, they those are called PCB pegs, uh, and the PCB pegs make sure that the switches uh, are lined up if you don't have a plate. Now we do have a plate, but even still, I'm going to be using uh, some of these, it goes this way. I'm gonna be using some of these stabilized switches on one board because I have a board that 
needs it, but also to keep some of these to keep some of these uh, straight. Some of the oh, Zelios first. Some of these um, switches, because of the cutouts on the board, have a propensity. Propensity. That's a nice big word. Uh, are likely to uh, possibly twist. Just checking here how the stream is going. That did not go well. Geostrapper, what's going on? Call me many, you can call me many things. You don't need to call me a perfectionist, but when a little peg gets bent like that, I like to straighten it out. Let's see. Uh, what was the question just then from JJ? When my TKL is done, can you put some keycaps on it and show a typing test, etc.? Uh, I can do. If you want to buy keycaps, uh, I absolutely can. If you're not going to buy keycaps, um, I would I would prefer it if you um, if I didn't do a typing test on it because I don't want to put keycaps on and take them off unnecessarily. The risk is pretty low that I'll damage them in any way, but still, like. Like, why? You know? Uh, I'm just grabbing my other keyboard here just to make my life a little easier. It... It's the one on the right. Norwegian Viking always love these live streams so rare right and as I said earlier in the stream um, definitely the last one of the year definitely well maybe uh, it depends how long it takes me to build these things and you know we still have that four hour time limit so uh, if I do run out of time I will uh, I will come back my plan is to get these both done today. Uh, I have other streams that I need to do. Uh, I have many things that have arrived. Did you guys, by the way, did you guys see the Android Auto thing that I did? It's, it is super cool. Uh, I just did a review of that, what, last weekend, two weekends ago? I also have these other things that I want to do. The home automation thing, the video that I never finished. Oh, I just realized I'm an action cam. Uh, I have a smart dimmer light switch. Actually, I'm going to go back to action cam for this. Uh, maybe not. Uh, uh -huh. Smart dimmer light switch. Uh, there's one of those. Uh, looking forward to playing with this. This, uh, because this works on the Tuya app, at least I believe it does. Yeah, it does. Smart, you see it says Smart Life on the side. So because that works on the Tuya app, uh, it means that I can add it to my smart things, which is great. Uh, looking forward to that. And also I got this, which I'm not looking forward to. I'm really not looking forward to this thing. I think you've crossed a line when you uh, start using wireless spy cams that look like that look like perfume bottles. I mean, where you know what is it you're trying to do? Geo Strebber, a four hour time limit is for 4K streams uh, on YouTube. Uh, if you do over four hours, then there's the possibility that they will not let you replay it. So I always stick to the four hour uh, time limit. Uh, Panzer Bjorn asked JJ which one he commissioned. He commissioned this one, the silver or white one, uh, with the uh, with the Zelio sixty-seven grams. Uh, sorry, sixty-five grams. Uh, Panzer Bjorn says, "Is there a way to make the DZ sixty PCB Bluetooth?" Not as far as I'm aware. Uh, I could be wrong, but not as far as I'm aware. Just gonna 
use this again. Just to help me. Did I screw that up? I did. It's on the left, not on the right. And this goes left, left, left. Right, right, right. Man, that is really in there. There we go. Yeah, that warning comes up when you, uh, the warning about the 4K live stream time limit comes up when you tell YouTube that you're going to be streaming for uh, in 4K. It gives you a notice that says uh, 4K streams over four hours may not be archived uh, for, for replay. So, like I say. Okay, I'm just double checking here. That is 100%, as I say. 100%. If you're ever in doubt, by the way, you just take another, you just take your keycap, like a space bar, and you just figure out where it fits, and that's how it fits. This, by the way, if you're wondering, this is also a 65 gram Zelios keyboard. Corrode or corrode, I'm not really sure. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, we just got a question there. Colec94 says, what do I do to commission a keyboard? Well, this is this is the thing, and I don't think that JJ realized it. He just happened to catch me uh, this morning as I was preparing to make a keyboard. I was going to make a couple keyboards, and he just caught me. But the best way to do it is to contact 1UP Keyboards. Um, info at Gmail. Uh, sorry, info at 1UP Keyboards or uh, one up keyboards at gmail.com uh, both of them work <clears throat> that's the best way to do it uh, the likelihood of me making it on live stream these days is, is pretty slim uh, but it's not to say it's impossible Can you do a special live stream about soldering a keyboard using these? What? What's that a link to, GeoStriver? Oh, the big switches. That would be awesome. Yeah, man, reach out to them. See if they want to do it. Is that what mine will sound like? Yeah, pretty close, I would say. That's, that's what yours is going to sound like. Um, Uh, there's ways to make the sound differ by adding different materials around the edges. Uh, and we have a new series of those coming out in the new year. So you probably want to uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. But there should be some, um, beyond the glass fiber middles, there should be some new middle pieces available early in the new year.
yeah, a Panzer Bion is right. It's not really the same, but it's, uh, yeah, you know. This is going to be one super stabilized keyboard. I'm just, normally I would cut off a lot of these little, the little pegs. Uh, I just kind of started not cutting off the pegs. And so now I'm like, eh, why don't I keep going? You know what I haven't done though? You know what I haven't done though? I haven't tested that these keyboards work. Dang. Usually I'm not that sloppy. I just, I guess I didn't have my thinking hat on. Uh, let's just go in here. So you guys will see these disappear, assuming that it tests okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, where's the enter key, just so you can see it happen. There you go. Okay, so that one worked. Uh, you should always test your keyboard before you start building or soldering. Um, and if one switch works, you can make the whole thing come to life. Yep, so they both work. Great. Whew. Part of the reason is that if you haven't tested and you solder everything in and the keyboard doesn't work, the warranty unfortunately is expired once you start soldering because you can't say for certain if it was the soldering that killed the board. Um, so always test before you start building. Colex says they submitted us in the contact us page. That's great. Uh, just so you know, one of keyboards is actually closed until January 2nd. So if you don't hear back from us uh, for a couple of days, uh, it's because we're, we're closed. Just like everybody else. Uh, uh, you don't do bed of nails testing. No, I don't do bed of nails testing. My PCB vendors are meant to do that. Um, but again, you should always test uh, before you uh, start building. Uh, do you have any recommendations for my first time building a keyboard? Yes, the Sweet 16. Go to 1UP Keyboards, check out the macro pad, the Sweet 16. You should build that first because it's cheap. It's like 30 bucks. Um, start there. Uh, Yari de Leon, I would recommend if you're going to build using a PCB, uh, use the 1UP one one Keyboard's RGB PCB instead of the DZ60. That's my recommendation. Uh, we built 
the one up PCB to be a direct competitor with the DZ60, and I believe that it is. The uh, one up RGB PCB also has uh, RGB underglow. Well, 17 people here currently. I haven't checked the number of likes. Uh, how are we doing, guys? What's the what's the current number? Uh, Sirode, if you're saying Nordic, what... what um, you should check in with Mechanisk. Mechanisk uh, is also based in, well, he's based in Norway. Uh, and I know that he can get some of the hard to find um, uh, keycaps and other things. Even the 16 seems intimidating. You know what, uh, what he, Here's one. Here's one that we that we prototyped, uh, a four banger, which has just four switches. Uh, Panzer Bjorn, I understand, but uh, like I say. The DZ60 will actually cost more, and you can uh, uh, sorry, not the DZ60. Which one were you talking about? The GH60. You were talking about the GH60 PCB. GH60s are great. I mean, I, I love a GH60, but you're gonna pay thirty bucks just for the GH60, whereas you can get the whole Sweet 16 kit for thirty bucks. Again, it's designed it's designed to be used by uh, first timers. Um, and agree, yeah, there's programming to do, and that's complicated, and there's soldering to do, and that's complicated, uh, but it'll, uh, it'll still teach you the fundamentals and get you exploring rather than uh, spending too much budget. We sell, we sell Satans, and if you're gonna buy a Satan, I mean, I'm not really gonna complain about it. Uh, but like I say, We've also got an advanced version of the Sweet 16 on the horizon. Uh, Geo Strebber, you are a man who has not yet figured out that WASD can be your arrow keys. Um, I use caps lock. If I hold caps lock, then it turns WASD into arrow keys. And then I don't even have to move my fingers from the home row in order to get arrow keys. Geo Trevor, that's awesome. That's an awesome way to get into this.
Yeah, knew that something was going wrong there. You could feel it. Hands are beyond. Well, you say I beat you to it. Probably with lag, you beat me to it, but. Alas. The WASD thing, man, it's, it's the best. But TKL is better for showing off more of your awesome keycaps. <clears throat> so I bought a cover for this desk. I just have not used it. Oh, by the way, we're at $43. <clears throat> Sorry, I lost my voice a little bit there. We're at $43.83 on the uh, on the Super Chat. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, absolutely, Ajio Strubber. You could, instead of holding it down, you could just make it momentary. Um or you could use a lock switch. Is there a name for those four button macro pads? There is. We have not yet released them. Um, uh, Bishop, if you're watching this, we should release these. God damn it. Uh, these are um, four bangers. Uh, but they're not available yet. Uh, we don't have them. Uh, but can I show off this super secret new project that we, that we do have going? Four banger, four banger. Can I show off the super secret new project that we do have going? This is not for beginners. Oh, what the heck? That looks totally busted. Oh no. Are you guys seeing that? Are you guys seeing that bar in the middle of the thing or is it just me? Uh, macro pads is the generic name for them. Are you guys seeing that, or is it just is it just me that's busted? Uh, no, it's just me that's busted. My preview window just exploded. Uh, four bangers in a four cylinder engine. Yep. I didn't get to show off the new thing, did I? Because my thing got broke. Oh, bar is there. Yes, we're seeing the bar. You're still seeing the bar? Oh, no. All right, then. Well, I'm gonna have to kill the stream for a second. Don't don't you go nowhere. Don't you go nowhere. Are we back? We should be back. Everything should be back now. Are we back? My 1080 Ti decided to crap the bed. I think it's because Windows sucks. Um, if you don't think that Windows sucks, then you're wrong. Uh, Windows sucks uh, real, real hard. Windows sucks real hard. Um,
I think we are back and running fine. Well, if you could do me a favor, if you haven't already, smash the like button. Tell your friends that we're back. Because as far as I can tell, we only have four viewers now. Dang. It's the problem with um, it's the problem with relying on a Windows setup. I tell you what, it just uh, it's just not good. You know. But whatever, we got a long way to go. I'm sure we'll get some more audience in here before long. Most importantly, is JJ still around? That's the real question. JJ, are you still here? Uh, and if you are, have you seen one of these streams before? And if you haven't, have you heard about Solder Cam? 15 viewers. Okay, we're, we're starting to get back. We're starting to come back. All right. I tell you, though, if it's not a problem with my graphics card shit in the bed, my network is also shit in the bed. It's just a lot of bed shitting happening right now. Okay, I'm not 100% sure if that's where that's supposed to go. So I'm just going to grab my other keyboard here. Yeah, that's 100% where it's supposed to go. Which means that this one is also supposed to go left. means that this is also supposed to go left. And then this one, this one's more confusing. Yeah, because that goes to the right, that goes to the right. And then confusing, confusing. Okay. This goes to the right. But then what I'm going to do is, I thought I had a switch. Oh, my chair just disappeared on me. Um, I thought I had a switch port here somewhere. I have one. Just one sec. I have a switch puller. This is the other thing here. Sorry, I, I keep saying switch puller. I don't need a switch puller. What I need is a keycap puller. I'm just going to... I talked about this earlier. This is... Um, Geo Stripper. Guys, I got to go. It's time for New Year's Eve drinking. Awesome. You have a grand old time, man. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to put these... Okay. And then what I like to do... What I like to do is, look, I'm going to line this up the way that it's going to go in, like this, like this. And then I actually put that keycap in place. And then I line up the keycap where I think it's supposed to go, just like that. And I push it in. And I do it a couple more times here. All right, well, we're back to 18 viewers. Thank you guys for sticking with me through that. I know what a pain in the ass it is. I'm really sorry. But obviously, I didn't do it on purpose. I don't know how you could do that on purpose. But it's unfortunate, and, uh, and I'm sorry for that. This is the one. Uh, 
uh, you're buying an HHKB next Friday. Any advice? Yeah. Buy the HHKB controller from 1UP Keyboards. Hasu's HHKB controller turns your HHKB into a fully programmable keyboard. Uh, yeah. Uh, buy one of those. Comes in two variations. The Uh, the first is uh, the USB, or does it Bluetooth? Uh, I like them both. Uh, all right. Uh, next, next thing's next. I'm just going to check the back of this. Uh, what I like to do is rub my finger along each of the switches to make sure that they poke through because your eyes can't be 100% sure but your fingers every time you get scratched you can be pretty confident You can also tell which ones aren't all the way through because they won't uh, they won't poke through as far as some of the other ones. So this is a good way to check that at the same time. Okay, we're all through. Uh, I'm just going to read some comments here. Should I change out the sliders? Uh, Colek, don't change out the sliders uh, at first. Uh, keep them for a while. Um, uh, and then, yeah. Uh, then later you can do that. What lube do you use in the stabs? I use this stuff, which is GPL 205. And actually, I'm going to... Um, uh, I'm going to use some more of it in a, in a couple minutes. Uh, I'll show you how to silence the stabilizers a little more than they currently are. Uh, is that space the same as the WASD V2 keyboard? That's what I have at the moment. Space bar size, I mean. Um, so the space bar size, JJ, is the standard 6.25U. You'll know that you have a standard keyboard layout if it looks like this, uh, which is three 1.25Us, three of the same size on one side of the space bar. Uh, a space bar and then four of the same size on the right hand side these are these four and these three are all the same size if that's what you've got one two three four five six seven then you have a 6.25 u space bar if you have for example a one u over here um, that these and these three are different sizes or you only have three on this side uh, you know that you have a non-standard layout um, I'm not sure what your was keyboard has. Probably has a standard layout, but um, that's how you can tell. Okay, so that one I've just done with the Zelios. I didn't clip the PCB wings off of it, but this one uh, is going to be a little bit different because this doesn't have those uh, PCB uh, parts on the switches. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just put the first four in and then solder this. Whoops. Time to switch. Time to switch. Zach, hi. Yeah, the Crytox 205 is listed in the About section below. At least I think it is. It should be. Okay, so because I have uh, plate mount switches, uh, I'm going to start 
uh, by soldering these four in. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to uh, this other keyboard because once I have the soldering iron up and going, I might as well. Uh, and I'm going to solder in all of these switches. So uh, that's quite a lot of soldering to do. I'm going to do it all with solder cam on. So hell yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, but give me a minute because i got to open my window here so I can get a little bit of ventilated air. Oh, somebody just asked, do I run one-up keyboards? Yes, I do run uh, one-up keyboards. Uh, uh, so, JJ, I'm going to do both. Uh, um yes and you'll see you, you'll see what i mean in a second uh okay first thing is go over to solder cam and i need to focus this so i, I had it focused i was all ready to go but of course that crash changed it there we go a p Alexa, turn on the soldering iron. Okay. Now, that might seem a little crazy to you guys that I have a voice activated soldering iron, but the reason that I do it um, is so that I don't forget my soldering iron on. So it's time limited to 30 minutes. Um, and what that means is that uh, my soldering iron doesn't. Uh, uh, it doesn't stay on when it's not supposed to be. Uh, so just one more time, if you guys haven't been here before, uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, my soldering iron was at the wrong temperature. Uh, just getting it up, enter, yeah, enter. Uh, it's on its way up to 650F now. Uh, if you guys haven't been here before for uh, solder cam, this soldering iron is in 4K. You know what? Oh, just fell over there. Uh, but it can be a little bit dizzying to watch this thing fly around. So you might want to keep your eye up here in the top left corner. You see that? That's a good way of like keeping it on something stable. As this thing goes crazy, this thing in the top left is going to be super stable so you can focus your eyes there. Now because I'm going to do some soldering, I'm just going to finish off a sip or two of my coffee and then move it to the kitchen. Uh, and when I come back, I'll start soldering. Now, remember kids, safety first. Uh, when you're doing any soldering, uh, you want to wear uh, protective glasses. Uh, I have other protective glasses, but of course, because I wear spectacles, um, it's all about safety. Remember, no one wants to go to the hospital just because you're making a keyboard. All right, so let's switch back over to solder cam and uh, start uh, start making this up here. Okay, it's been a little while here, so there's a bunch of stuff in the way. I'm just gonna try to move this stuff around. Uh. Sorry guys, I, I have a plug that had been plugged in for my Mac. Uh, that, that's out of the way now. And then these, all my markers can go up in the corner. Okay, sorry about that. Zach says, is it hard to get used to an OLKB? I'm planning on getting a split 60, but I'm not sure if I will get used to it. I struggle with it personally. Uh, I know lots of people who don't. Uh, but just so you know, uh, you notice that I changed. You notice that I'm changing that without my hands? This is because I'm using an OLKB uh, as my foot pedal. Uh, I use foot pedals to control the stream. So even if you don't like the 
even if you don't like the OLKB, there's lots of other stuff you can do with it. All right, on to solder cam. Let's get going here. Just a quick wipe. And then uh, I'm going to start on the board where I'm only doing the four switches. Now, of course, because I just wiped this, it's lowered the temperature, so give it just a second. I'm sorry. Pete, you are not on solder cam. I am on solder cam. Can you not see it? Wait, are you telling me? There. No, wait. There, can you not see, is this not solder cam? Oh man. So this whole time you haven't seen it. So now you're on solder cam with me, right? Now it's solder cam. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Well, then that OLKB thing that I just said wouldn't have made any sense because it wasn't changing, it wasn't changing views. All right. Well, that those are the <laughs> you didn't see it. But those are the four switches that I needed to do on this first one. And basically what that does is it just locks those first four switches in. So it'll be much easier to, to continue on with that in a minute. Uh, but this one I've got to do all of the switches. So this will uh, be much more comprehensive. Here we go. we got solder cam working properly. Now if JJ's here, he can see his keyboard come together and all my perfect little solder joints. Uh, the HSEs should be back in stock in about two weeks. Uh, I just got a picture from the factory uh, two days ago on the 28th. No, wait, is that three days?
two or three days ago, I got a picture from the factory that they were being sent. Um, obviously, because of New Year's, there'll be a, a little extra delay. But usually it takes about 14 days from the time that uh, it's finished. And, again, you heard it here first, there's going to be some new um, WKL uh, or HHKB layout variants uh, of the new HSE. So that'll be pretty exciting, too. Uh, it's not WKL. It's uh, Sangin, I think it's called. Uh, for those of you who like that sort of layout. That's as well as the uh, standard layouts. Uh, guys, as you know, because I'm uh, soldering, it's uh, difficult for me to look up at the chat window. I see that there are some chats happening, but I can't actually look up and read them, as I'm afraid to take my eye off of this uh, burning hot soldering iron. But if you'd like me to uh, remember a quote or read aloud a quote, don't forget Super Chat is enabled. Guys, I'm concentrating really hard here. Uh, I don't know why, but it feels like the soldering iron's soldering a little more slowly than it usually does. But it's making all of these solder joints super perfect. And I'm just, I'm not even complaining about it. I'm just like almost mesmerized by it myself. So thank you for uh, hanging around. By the way, if you haven't already, please press like. That would be a great time to press that like button. Also, if you have social media channels, you can share this on uh, that would be great too I really appreciate all the help growing the audience as much as we can here you can you guys can see the top of my head here in frame right Well, I kind of like my elbows resting on the desk. It's sort of nice.
Don't forget, today's stream is being streamed in 4K, including solder cam available in full 4K. So if you guys have high resolution monitors or even TVs, you can watch it that way. Uh, nothing like seeing this solder gently go on here. So each join making beautiful little puddle, little wells they're called. Little puddles. They kind of are puddles, but they're called wells. Now I use uh, Kester No Clean solder, which is really nice stuff. Uh, it's also lead free, which is nice. And uh, for those of you who've been watching me for a long time build these keyboards, uh, I haven't burnt myself in a long time. I'm saying that hopefully I haven't jinxed myself, but uh, people used to tune into the stream just to watch me burn myself uh, and eat pizza, but that's that's a long time since. So today is the last stream of 2018. Some of our European friends have already left to go for drinks. And this is beautiful. Some impressive solder work here, if I do say so myself. Now, good solder technique uh, what you do is you apply the heat to the ring and then pour the solder in around it. You don't touch the iron itself except to start the well from going but you should be able to paint the solder around the ring I can see that somebody's just posted something. Sorry, buddy. I'll be with you in just a sec. It's hard for me to look up uh, while I'm yeah, soldering. And what I don't want to do is uh, burn the PCB, which I would do if I left the iron too long. And I don't want to hold it up and wave it around too much. Give me just one second. I see somebody else has posted there, too. Give me a sec. JJ, I'm not sure if you're still in the stream, man, but. This is my Hattori Hanzo. This is like perfection. That is hard to.
Again, for those of you who are just joining, today's stream is available in full 4K. Don't forget to uh, crank your resolution. Make sure you're catching this in full detail. If you haven't soldered before, you can see uh, it's a four-step process. You ready? Here are the four steps. One, apply the heat. Two, apply the solder. Three, remove the solder. Four, remove the heat. One, two, three, four. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So many switches. I'm, uh, still in the alpha. Second to last row here. Pete, check the F key. Oh, well done. Thank you. Just a quick glance up, and that's all I saw. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else notice any other ones that I've missed? Please shout it out. Like I say, it's difficult to look up at the screen and to read anything, but 
sure a little message like that helped. And I will be back with you guys in just a second. And I will read all those comments that I wasn't able to read. I do this weird thing. I don't know if any of you guys do it, but when I concentrate really hard, I forget to blink. Uh, do you guys do that? Like, when I play video games, I just don't blink. Because, I don't know why, it's just like a thing. I am concentrating so hard on this, my eyes are on fire, because I didn't blink for a good solid ten minutes then. Are you guys like that, or is it just me? Oh, I see more posts. I, I just, I'm going to look over in a sec. I got you, buddy. Thank you, man. a super fun time hanging out with you guys and this looks like it's going to be a beauty of a keyboard so fun times all around and I got this vent that's blowing out of my window directly over the desk but for some reason the smoke comes towards me before it goes up and out the window. It's like the weirdest damn thing. Okay, now we are on to the bottom row. Pretty universal, is it? I'm just gonna give this a quick wipe. Sorry, I could only just look up for it to say, to see pretty universal, not blinking. I think that's what the comment said. I can barely see it because of course my eyes are watered over. And I'm holding a super hot iron. It's not super hot, I mean it's not like the temperature of the sun, but it is 650 degrees Fahrenheit. Alexa? What's 650 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? 650 degrees Fahrenheit is 343 degrees Celsius. 343 degrees Celsius. Ah!
we're just about onto the martini. I know I missed the one on the alt. I can see it. I can see it. Evan Ortolani's up in the house. What's going on, man? Check out what I'm up to. This is called the solder cam. And the solder cam, I'm on the martini, though. But this gives you an up-close view of how to solder. So you can see in full 4K resolution exactly what each well looks like. Look at that. That is a perfect little solder joint for you. It's a nice time to join when you're going to do a beauty of a little solder like that. Okay, just going to give a quick scan over the board here. Uh, mm, mm, make sure I got everybody. Right. Yeah, it looks like I got them all. Sweet as you like. The only one that I'm not really happy with is this one, just because it's got a... going to add a touch more solder to that. Oh no, my soldering iron just went out. Alexa, turn on the soldering iron. Sorry, I didn't find a device made of some room. Alexa, turn on the soldering iron. Uh, I have a whole other keyboard to do. I'm actually doing two keyboards here. Uh, look, there's the other keyboard. So, just give it a minute and I'll uh, solder up another one. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, that was just a little, it was just a little gross, that one. Just uh, retinning the tip here just as soon as the temperature goes high enough. There it is. Uh, I'll retin this. Alexa, turn off the soldering iron. Sorry, I didn't find a device named Southern Light. Alexa, turn off the soldering iron. Yeah, it's off now. Like I say, I have the uh, soldering iron on a timer, okay. uh, just so I never, uh, just so I never forget and leave it on. Just doing another quick inspection of this. Okay, great. Uh, this one's looking, this one's looking super awesome. So now what I'm going to do is just put it over to the side for a sec. Uh, there's lots more to do on that. I need to install the base, of course. I'm going to silence the uh, stabilizers, make that. Uh, all the better. JJ is here, so I haven't talked to him yet about what uh, keycaps he wants to put on it. Um, Pete, would you sign the back side of the back plate, please? Of course. Uh, I'll do that uh, just as I finish it up. Uh, but do let me know if there's any keycaps that you'd like to add to your board. Uh, this shouldn't take long at all because these, these are plate mounts. Uh, they should just pop into place pretty quick here. Uh, absolutely, Evan. And uh, one of the um, one of the cool things I don't know did I bring you in a switch tester uh, when you uh, uh, when you were working with me? Um, because uh, what you can do is try out all the different types of switches. But I tell you what, uh, this 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 board that I'm building here, the black one, is for gaming. Uh, so it's got gaming switches on it. But if you're not going to be gaming. I recommend the switches on the other board, which are the Zelia switches. I was telling the story about that earlier. The Zelia switches are pretty much the best switches you can buy. And um, yeah, I'm a big fan. Big, big fan. But yeah, man, let's, uh, let's get together. Let's uh, test out some of those switches. Did I bring in that switch tester for you? I really can't remember. Um, you say you're going to be back in NYC. Where Where are you now? For those of you who don't know uh, the famous Evan Ortolani, um, 
he is both a serious hot dog man uh, and well, I shouldn't say both it's like a trifecta um, uh, he's a serious hot dog man he's an amazing art director and he's also a director um, why isn't that going in I don't know but it's not going in so let's let's fix that Really not going in that way. That one went in fine. I wonder what was up with that. I don't know much about different keycaps. I'd like blank keycaps though. Shot Dan. What? Um, I'm not sure if I understood you there, bud. No, this this one just isn't. It's just not happy. Need to drop off some last minute New Year's shopping. Uh, drop off for some last minute New Year's shopping. Thank you very much, Panzer Bjorn. Appreciate you hanging out, especially for catching me on that F key. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, dude. Um, Hope to make it back in time for the end of the stream. Me too, man. I hope you do. If you don't, have a great new year, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side. But would love to see you back. Thanks again for tuning in. But I'm back in Buffalo now decompressing. Awesome. Saw that Buffalo didn't make the playoffs. Of course, I'm disappointed. But, uh, no, that one's not going in properly. You can tell. Yeah, crunched. Finishing one film in NYC in Jan, then shooting on the West Coast in Feb. Wow, nice. Then back in NYC. Okay, well, dude. You know where I am, so. Yeah, man, dude, I can't wait to see what you've been up to. Did um did JB ever reach out to you, uh, Evan? Panzer Bjorn, happy New Year's to you and stuff. Thank you, man. We're just gonna shout that down to Steph. Steph, Steph, Panzer Bjorn wishes happy New Year. She yells back, happy New Year. You want, uh, we don't do a blank. What we do have, though, is uh, side printed. Is that what you're saying? Uh, not really, Daedalus. You've missed the soldering of one of two. Uh, oh, wait. These are top printed. Hey, Stav. The, uh, the key caps you gave me, they're top printed. Yeah. We have side printed keycaps. I don't know that I've seen these uh, top printed keycaps before. Um, we don't have blanks. They're all uh, side print. Anyways. Uh, okay, can you uh, write me a note? So we don't have any uh, side print. Okay, because I think that uh, JJ here wants to go with uh, side print. If that's what you want, a side print. Uh, I'm not really 100% clear. 
because you kept saying blank, but we don't do blank. If they look like blank, they're going to be side printed. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, he wants to go side printed. Uh, yeah, has he emailed you yet? Uh, JJ, he's... JJ, if you haven't already, can you email uh, info at uh, one-up keyboards? Um, Steph will get you all set up. Oh, that's awesome, dude. I just read that. Uh, started your own creative shop. That's so good, man. I'll let you know when I'm back in the city, though. Happy New Year, bud. I hope all is well. Thank you, man. Uh, you too. You have a good one. And uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing you back. Equally, say hello to Buffalo for me. Uh, it's been years since I've been back. And... Uh, yeah. Hopefully I'll get to see the Bills play soon, you know? That's the truth. Info at oneupkeyboards.com. That's the one. Thanks, JJ. Well, guys, uh, I'm still just snapping these in. Um, Evan, if you haven't already left and you're still here, don't forget to press like. And press subscribe. What are you doing? Um... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go, because I was just playing with solder. I need to wash my hands to do it. But I'm just going to go uh, wash my hands and then throw that coffee that I had in um, in the microwave for a hot second. And then, uh, and then drink some more of that coffee just to keep me alert. Alert, alert. Okay, one sec, guys. Uh, just hold on one sec. I'm going to, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave the B right back up on screen just for one second. Just one hot second. That's all it is. Evan, it's too bad that you've left because what I was going to do is tell you about how this setup works because it's insane. But you know what, Evan? Even though you're gone, I'm going to tell everybody else about how it works because what I've, I've got here, this is my everything. You can see uh, top left here is my 4K overhead. Uh, top right is my selfie chat, even though I think there's a little delay happening on it right now. Uh, 4K selfie chat, you can see it's got a better color on me than... Uh, 1080p selfie cam, which is there. Uh, 4K action cam is actually this camera. Oh, it's frozen. 4K action cam is frozen. And then uh, solder cam, uh, which you guys saw in action earlier. There you have it. All right. 
Uh, and then you notice that I'm controlling it all uh, with my hands. Ooh, there's all the stats you can see. Uh, I'm controlling it all with my hands above board here because I control it with my feet, um, which is pretty gnarly. Gun gnarly. Oh, uh, JJ, I said uh, that you sent an email and that you already got an email back saying that we're close to the holiday, which is true, except that Steph is sat in front of the computer this very second, so she should get back to you uh, shortly. Uh, I think she's chatting with her mom right now, so uh, could be a couple minutes, but I'm sure she will get back to you. And we'll get you all sorted out. Uh, like I say, there's still some more to do on your board. I want to silence those uh, stabilizers. Um, and I want to... Uh, I want to do some other stuff to it, too. Uh, I want to put all the bits in. I want to sign it. I want to get everything just the way it ought to be. Uh, JJ, I also assumed uh, that you wanted it to have uh, nice little feet on it and everything. Um, I didn't ask, but I assume that you want feet. Uh, they're not too expensive, unless you really badly want a flat board, which is cool too, uh, but I assume that you want the little feet. It just puts it on a nice little angle. It's not too steep. It's just about right. I was paying attention on the last one. This is uh, left, left, left. And then I'll use the other board that I just did for this one, which is, uh, looks like center. Yeah, center. Uh, and then uh, right, right, right. Sixteen viewers here. Is anybody in the stream new today? Is it your first stream for anyone? Uh, if it is, please make sure to say hello. All right then. You see how much quicker it goes when you have. Uh, PCB mount, or sorry, plate mount uh, switches. They don't take much effort to pop in at all.
just going to double check here. That should go on that one. That's correct. Space should be on the right hand one. Yeah, that's it. That, yeah. Yeah. Center, center, left, left. Yeah. Sweet. This is my first time watching live, says Sirode. Awesome. Uh, oh, Stacks uh, as well. That's awesome. Um, cool. Well, I'm glad that you're here. Uh, it's nice. I'll be honest with you. It's nice for me to be able to say hello. I know that's weird. Well, maybe it isn't weird. No, it's kind of weird. Uh, but it's nice to be able to say hello. You know, um, uh, for you guys, I'm sure you think that I'm just like a, um, I'm just somebody who uh, randomly talks on live streams. But uh, I'm a, deep down, I'm a real person too. And it's nice to be able to talk directly to the people who watch my content. If you have any suggestions, anything you like or don't like, tell me. Because uh, you're on the live stream, you can tell me live. Or if you're not in the live stream and you're watching this on replay, tell me in the comment section. I read all of that stuff. Uh, sometimes I don't respond. Uh, if I don't respond, it's because I'm not really sure what action to take. Like if someone says, uh, Pete, I was looking at uh, three keyboards and I'm not sure which one to buy, and I've never heard of any of the three of them, I tend to leave the comment open uh, so that other people can fill it out afterwards uh, so they can put their suggestions in. Uh, but most of the time, if I know what you're talking about, uh, I do my best to respond. So, Sarod Stacks, welcome to the stream. I'm here. If you got any suggestions, like I say, I'm around. Um, okay, I'm switching over to, to solder cam. Alexa, turn on the soldering iron. Okay. Uh, and now we should get this up to 650F uh, and then start soldering again. Damn, I didn't finish my coffee. I'm just going to have a couple quick sips before I get to the uh, soldering section. Uh, this stream is not brought to you by the New York Tourism Board. This is just a random mug that I was randomly using. Dear New York State Tourism Board, you did not sponsor this video. Nothing about this video is about the state of New York. Until now, when I say, it's a lovely state, my friend Evan lives in Buffalo, love that town. I live in New York City, love this town. Nothing to do with iHeart New York or its affiliates or its partners. The views expressed in this live stream have nothing to do with these people. Okay, be right back. Okay, so you guys probably thought that was weird, and let's be honest, it was kind of weird, uh, but I'm gonna explain to you while I'm soldering why uh, lead, solder and, uh, lead solder in either 3763 or 4060. See, I have no opinion about that, Shad, so it's difficult for me to say, but what I can tell you for sure is that I use uh, Kester, this is stuff that I use here, uh, this is a Kester No Clean. Uh, there's a link to it. You don't need to see that. There's a link to it in the About section. Um, the reason that I, d I did that, so I went, uh, you guys might not know this, but when you get uh, 10,000 subscribers at YouTube, they invite you to the uh, YouTube space. And, of course, I imagined that I would instantly get 100,000 subscribers because, you know, I have the best damn solder cam of any YouTube channel in the world. Uh, but when they invite you to the YouTube space, they tell you you're not to use any logos of things that could be construed as having a sponsorship or ownership uh, on your channel, unless you're authorized to do so. Uh, so you'll probably notice that I wear a Ski with Pete baseball cap on occasion. That has everything to do with not being able to show logos 
of the baseball teams that I support. Um, and also is the reason why I just wanted to make clear then that the logo that you were seeing on screen was not affiliated with this film in any way. So what I'm seeing here, guys, the way this solder is going on, uh, it's telling me that the rosin core is being activated, and it's being activated in kind of a funny way. Uh, so I'm going to have to be careful as I continue here. It seems to only be happening on the, um, the lower stem. So I'm just going to try this one and see what happens. Yeah, the solder just isn't connecting with it in a very nice way. You can see I'm getting these globules rather than the nice wells. So I'm just going to keep an eye on that as I progress. On these uh, kale speed switches, you will notice that the two legs are of different materials. One is a silver color, the other is like a copper color. So my guess is that leg is heating up at a different speed. So I'm just going to make sure it's extra warm as I continue. You know what? It just occurred to me I didn't read the comments from the last time that I was soldering. Not really deadless. I see that you've posted a comment, but I can't read it. Uh, have you ever shipped to the UK? Uh, asked JJ. Uh, JJ, not only have we shipped to the UK, uh, Steph and I used to live in the UK. Um, part of the reason we set up one of keyboards the way we did uh, was to be able to offer international shipping at good rates because we lived in the UK and we knew how annoying things were uh, when things didn't ship to the UK. Uh, Steph and I lived in, um, well, here we go. We started uh, living in Loughborough, uh, then I moved to Falmouth and Steph moved to Leicester. Uh, then I returned from Falmouth, uh, where I went to college, uh, to Leicester. Uh, then Steph and I moved together to London and uh, yeah so long answer short yeah yeah man now that leg just doesn't want to warm in the right way so I'm going to keep doing that I think I'm going to tip up every time I do this this leg. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna hold on for a second here. Is it worth to lube stabs if I'm on a low budget? Uh, lube stabs help, uh, but you know, that lube will last a lifetime. It's only 25 bucks or something. Okay, press chance for bad joints caused by movement during transition. As long as you don't break anything, lubing stabs and switches, one of the cheapest upgrades you can do. Is there anything I can do at home to lube my stabs DIY? Yes, I'll show you exactly how to do that. Um, Sirod, just stick around. I will show you exactly how to do that in about uh, 10 minutes. As soon as I'm done this board, actually, as soon as I'm done soldering this, that's exactly what I'm going to do is show you how to lube stabs uh, to improve them. Uh, so please stick around. Stab lubrication is coming right up. I'll show you exactly. I'll show you exactly what's involved. I'm sorry about that one weird 
leg that I have to go at a funny angle for. But it's just the nature of the beast. Because it's thicker, it, it uh, requires more heat. And then the solder sticks to it better. So actually, I'm going to go back. As I finish this next these next two switches, I'm going to go back and redo the, uh, the first two. Okay, so these, this one particularly is a bad one. And I'm just going to re remelt it. Okay, and then I'm going to tip it up to try to heat that peg better. And then, yeah, it's better. It's not, it's still a little cray. Yeah, th those are all good now. The stuff that I recommend for lubing your uh, stabilizers is um, uh, Crytox 205. There's a link to it in the About section. It's a thick lube, um, PFTE grease. Uh, but again, just hang on five minutes, ten minutes maybe, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Exactly how to use it uh, in the tube that it comes in. So gnarly having to having to go at such a crazy angle to try to get that leg warm. Sorry guys, I can't look at the comments right now. I know that there's some coming in, but going through here again sorry oh, I see you guys are talking about lube uh, I can't really again there'll be a whole lube discussion as I go through uh, lubing of those stabilizers uh, and I'll talk about it further uh, just please bear with me again this this is kind of a complicated board to to weld here because just because I've got to do this stupid angle to get this peg warm 
So it's taking a little bit more effort and concentration than I imagined. Just looked up for a second and all I saw was coincidentally my mom is also called Steph. I don't know what that is in relation to, but oh that Steph is on the phone to her mom. Oh that's yeah, okay, now I get it. It took a second to register how that worked, but yeah. Steph is not my mom, Steph is my wife. But she is on the phone with her mom. Uh, guys, if you haven't already, could you please go ahead and smash that like button and uh, share the channel and this video on social media. Um, it helps me spread the word. Such a funny, <laughs> that peg, I mean, it doesn't really make any sense to do what they've done, but having a thicker peg there, it's almost like the, um, the bee suns and the uh, pandas, because they've got thick legs too, and you gotta spend an extra second warming the, the pegs, but why would you bother on these speed switches? It kind of makes no sense. Unless in order to put the actuation thing higher, you needed to use a different material, must be. Must, must be. Look at the angle I gotta do this on, it's so mental.
Well, Cousin Joe. This board is going to be awesome. Currently 17 viewers. Can I ask you guys uh, a couple quick favors? One, can you tell me how long this stream has been going? Do you can you guys see that? Like what hour mark we're at? And also, could you tell me how many likes? And views we're at. Actually, maybe I can tell you how many views. We're at 307 views. How many likes have we got? Two nineteen. Oh, okay. Twenty four likes, seventeen watching. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you. Just re-tipping this, just to give a nice, clean finish on it. There we go.
Uh, can we do a roll call? Where are you guys all tuning in from? And JJ, I'm sorry, I wasn't really looking, but did you ever say where in the UK you are? So where are you guys tuning in from today? Obviously, I'm in New York City, as I've mentioned a couple times already on stream. Virginia. Nice. Sheffield. Oh, I love Sheffield. Um, so Steph used to, uh, Steph used to uh, work with British swimming. And she used to go to Sheffield for competitions, and I used to ride the train up to Sheffield to join her. Sheffield's also where the Crucible is, isn't it? Um, for snooker. Snooker. Derek B. from Ontario. No kidding. Steph and I are originally from Ottawa, Ontario. Whereabouts in Ontario are you? Born in Britain, Leeds, though. Oh, yeah, okay. Cornwall. Dude, no kidding. My folks live uh, not far from Cornwall in the Ingleside. Cornwall, Ontario. You know, I was just there last week. Cornwall very well. Um, Pitt Street, Riverside, across the border there too. parents like to go for breakfast and we go to the riverside um, pizzeria for breakfast
Wow, small world. I go to Long Sue and Ingleside all the time. Yeah, man. Um, Long Sue has that beautiful drive along the uh, along the water. Cornwall, Ontario. It's improved a lot since the uh, the old days of the uh, paint factory. What was that called? Some Domtar. Domtar. What a terrible name, too. But now it's now it's a cute little town, isn't it? Of course, the uh, air traffic controllers train there too. Had a couple friends go through that program. This one isn't working out. Oh, because my thing just turned off. Alexa, turn on the soldering iron. See the last board I was able to do in th this time? Alexa, stop. Alexa, turn on the soldering iron. Alexa, turn on the soldering iron. Maybe I should set it for an hour instead of 30 minutes. Condos now, yeah. So my cousin Joe, well, it's actually my outlaw cousin Joe, um, he owns a skate shop in, uh, in Ottawa. So uh, I was down visiting him, and he was talking about this new keyboard that he, uh, this new computer that he bought, and now he's thinking about getting a keyboard. Almost done here, boys. Almost done. 
This one took a really long time. Partly because those other pegs are so weird. All right, well, I see a couple new people have turned up. Probably on account of solder cam. Oh, yeah, hands are beyond. You barely missed anything. I think I was just starting to solder this when he left. Uh, you know what? There's some comments that I didn't read earlier on, and they're scrolled up now. If uh, you were here and you left those comments, now would be a good time for you to repost them. Now I'll get to them. Oh, you guys were talking about lube, right? Yeah, we'll talk about lube in just a sec. And is JJ still here? Because i got to show him. Uh, I'm going to do the test on the keyboard. I may have to do some bridging um, or other stuff. Never can tell with that sort of thing. All right. It's hard to get custom boards in Canada because of shipping costs and limited product due to our population. Agree entirely, except that if you told me last week, I would have brought you one. Uh, would have saved you shipping and all of that. Um, equally, we go up to Canada pretty often, so uh, and pass through Cornwall in order to do it. So, you uh, let me know if ever you need me to uh, uh, to bring you something across. Haven't gone nowhere. All right, sweet. Okay, so uh, Alexa, turn off the soldering iron. Sorry, I didn't find a device named Southern Light. Alexa, turn off the soldering iron. Uh, I said I emailed Steph earlier, hasn't emailed me back, uh, and that my mom has called Steph. Jay is here. What's going on, Jay? Uh, give me one sec. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run away for half a second here. Steph, did you get the email from JJ? JJ, we got it, but Steph doesn't know the details of the board, so we're going to talk about it before she emails you, and her mom, who she wasn't talking on the phone to, has just replied, so we're going to get to you in a minute, but don't worry, uh, Panzer Bjorn just sent me a picture. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I recently purchased new snowboarding boots, was using hand-me-down ones before, double BOA. Yeah, nice. Top notch, man. Well, if you're going to show that off, wait until you see what I got to show off. Oh, yeah? Uh, wait, what's the best one to do is if I do this selfie? Except I know there's a delay, but hold on, watch this. Hold on.
That's what I'm talking about. Sick new set of heads. Sick new set of heads. Um, okay. That's why they call me Ski with Pete, because I ski. Whatever. Um, all right. I got to test some keyboards here. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick check that everybody got a little bit of solder on them. Panzer Bjorn wasn't here to uh, check my work along the way. So I just want to doubly, triply make sure. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> Jay says, well, your name is Ski with Pete, so this is unexpected. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, all right. Uh, just before I do the keyboard test, I'm actually going to uh, put the little pegs and legs on um, to help this thing stand off. Uh, okay. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want the bottom of the board uh, to short out as I'm doing the testing. That's why uh, putting these little legs on now is a good a good thing to do. Uh, WKNS Lance, are you asking me which state do I live in? Uh, I live in New York State. And also a state of bliss. Put this over to the side for one second. I'm just going to put the legs on this guy, and then I'm going to test them both, and then we'll carry on from there. Uh, if you just joined the channel, uh, don't forget to press like and press subscribe. I uh, need all those subscriptions that we can get.
getting close here. I just another couple minutes while I put these little pegs in. If you don't already, you guys should also uh, subscribe to the uh, One Up Keyboards newsletter. Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty useful, uh, but also it's gonna. My plan for 2019 is to make it even better and even more useful. Um, so as we continue, uh, I really recommend you subscribe to that. All the new stock and new sales will be in there as well as uh, for 2019, better keyboarding tip information. Meanwhile in Germany, just gonna click on that link. Give me one hot second. Yeah. Locking switch. I see that's a locking switch, but I don't know what the other thing is. Is that like a Lego piece? What is that? It's a small 3D printed keyboard, it's awesome. Okay, we're at the point where I can start uh, testing. So uh, give me just one second. I'm just gonna open up the uh, keyboard tester. Oh. Keyboard tester, launch the tester. Uh, okay, cool. And now I, what I do is click, I got a little button here for tester. There you go. So you can still see me here you can still see the keyboards here and you can see oh you can see that alt 7 is how I switch my camera to this view I'm just gonna press reset there so it's all nice and clean and JJ we're gonna start with your keyboard here uh, just to do a run-through test make sure all the switches are working if they're not then what we'll do is a procedure called bridging uh, just to get them all to go uh, all right, you can follow along here as I run my finger across the board. Yeah, all of them are working. Uh, and then print, scroll lock, and then pause. You can see that. Uh, okay, that means that all of the columns are now working. Oh, try keyboardchecker.com. Oh, uh, I might give that a give that a whirl next.
these these buttons over here are going to be weird because they um These buttons are weird uh, over in this corner because they they are often used in mode. Um, yeah, uh, that one should work though. Surprised it isn't. Uh, but there, um, this is for menu and function, which are not uh, properly registered in this program. Uh, let me check this other board here. I want to check if that right control is not working. Now this one also doesn't register. Okay, so that tells me that it is correct. Uh, right. Yeah, we have a fully fully working board here, and we can say for sure all the all of the columns and rows are working. I used to use keyboard tester and it's great, but I like keyboard checker even better now. Okay, cool. Just making sure I accidentally pressed that in. Like I say, these two keys won't work, but this alt should. Yeah, spacebar, yeah. And that alt, win, control. Here we go. Did you miss entering both shifts? Uh, shift, 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 and enter. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to the other board, JJ. Just to double, triple check here. This is this is your board again. And uh, shift, uh, shift works on the right hand side, and shift. Enter definitely works. Uh, but you are correct. Oh no, there, left shift. I can see it firing. Wait. Let's go. Okay. Definitely that, sh I mean, I'm holding shift. It is definitely working. Hundred percent. This is a one hundred percent working board. Okay. I'm just gonna turn this off because we are done with the soldering iron. The soldering iron is off. Oh, I'm gonna put this back outside the window. Geigster, can you do me a favor? Can you check one up keyboards in about two weeks time? I think we might have a solution that you'll be interested in. Right, let's switch back to this. And I'm gonna go to, I'm just gonna put in keyboard checker so that I use it next time. Uh, 
Okay, cool. Uh, right. Where was I? You know what? I, I'm going to go do... All right, so we know that we have fully working keyboards. Uh, that's one thing. Uh, I've got to put on keycaps. Uh, I got to do the bases. Uh, I got asked to sign uh, one of the keyboards. I got to do all of that stuff. But before I do it, I want to show you guys how to lube stabilizers. The only thing is, this camera wasn't working. Hold on, action camera? No, action cam isn't working. Uh, give me one sec. I'm just going to see if I do it. Four K action cam. Okay, hold on. Huh, we got it working again. Sorry about this, guys. There was that problem where I crashed out earlier, so it's not really that surprising that things have gone awry. Don't forget, we are doing this in full 4K. All right, here's, here's what I'm talking about. Uh, all right, check this out. This is what you do. You pick up your stabilizer. These are uh, cherry clone stabilizers. But this also works with, um, and we're assuming that whoever did this uh, properly looped the wire that's already stuck under there, which I also did, uh, but didn't do that on that on this video. But here's here's a stabilizer that I did yesterday, uh, just like all the ones I did yesterday, and you can see the little bit of lube. Can you see that little bit of lube? Yeah, you can see the little bit that I put on, just right here where the little metal wire goes. But this is how to how to do your stabilizers so what you're going to do is pick them up and the wire goes along the front here right but so you're going to pick them up and stuff in the back in this hole where the wire is and you're just going to squirt your lube in there whoops my lube isn't coming out there we go yeah you just want to fill that hole up with lube do you see that See, I've just filled it like that there. Okay? Then we're going to fill the other one over here with lube too. See? Do you see it's got lube in it now? Okay, we're going to do that to all of them. Oh. oh, I got screws in the way here. Hold on. I'm just going to put my screws away. Uh, any hints? Yeah, a solution for the uh, keycap problem that you have. Oh no, what did I just drop? Oh, the cap. All right. I kind of want to do the swap where I st my Telios to Cherry Silent stems, or should I try swapping them with Gateron stems? Uh, you know what? Both will work. I've put uh, I've put Cherry into Gateron housings, uh, Cherry Silence that is into Gateron housings, and they work fine.
now that those are all done, that should silence the stabs for the most part. I'm going to show you on JJ's board how to silence them even a little further than that. Uh, but I'm only going to do that on JJ's board, not on. Uh... All right, so you fill that, and we'll fill this. All right, and... this okay so this is this is what you would call oh HHKB JP oh no I'm not I'm sorry I'm sorry man I didn't I didn't catch the JP part Yeah, and the sliders, the sliders, uh, the JTK sliders are kind of okay. They're a little bit scratchy. Um, if you lube the hell out of them, they're still a little bit scratchy, but they're the they're gonna be the best solution. Okay, that that is what I would normally do. That is what I would normally do in order to silence these stabilizers. But I'm going to take it the extra level because uh, I know that JJ is watching. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some lube to the tip of this paintbrush and then I'm going to lube down the sides. Okay, let me show you. All right, the action cam here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some lube to this paintbrush eventually just like this and like this you know what would be even better is if I had something like a plastic bag I was no longer using and I could spread it around here like this plastic bag and I'm just gonna spread the lube around on it Now what I'm going to do, watch this, pick these, these up and you paint along this edge here. Yeah. And then along this edge too. Okay. Sounds pretty awesome, uh, Dragster. Sounds like a fun old project. Okay, the other thing I wanted to talk about, again, I don't know if JJ's still here or not, but he asked about lubing the Zelios. Now, I don't think you need to lube the Zelios because they're Gateron switches, and so they're pretty damn smooth to start with. But also, because of the tactility, it's a little like snapping your fingers together. and if you try snapping your fingers underwater, you'll notice that the lubrication makes it more difficult, not easier, because it just slides, if you see what I'm saying. Okay, I'm just gonna shake this board. There. You can hear now, I'm shaking this right by the microphone. There's no noise at all left in there. They are silenced stabs. Now these ones, you can hear there's still a little bit of noise in there because I didn't paint these, these ones. You understand? I'm sure you do. Okay, I'm gonna take this little lube paint thing. I'm just gonna do up the space bar here. I said I wasn't going to do this, and now I'm doing it.
basically lube is good for uh, any two parts that move it this provides uh, some assistance so that the things that move instead of creating friction and causing noise or any grinding or resistance this just helps it all happen a little bit more smoothly but don't believe anyone who puts lube as a padding underneath their stabilizers. I don't care if the community entirely disagrees with me. Lube is to stop things from rubbing, not to provide a cushion. Uh, these are 10 millimeter standoffs. Uh, I think these are five millimeter screws uh, because the plates are 1.5 millimeters thick. Uh, and that gives a little bit of room between the two, but you can use less. Uh, if you do like a three millimeter screw, you'll have enough. If you use a two millimeter screw, I find they don't quite have enough to grab onto. So a two, uh, sorry, a two and a half or three millimeter screw would do it. And they are M3s in case you were wondering. Uh, okay, let's finish off. Uh, wait, I need to uh, wa wipe my hands so I don't get lube anywhere else on this board. Uh, so give me one second. Sup effect. Just saw some paper towels here that are. You need to paper towel your hands first with lube before you wash them. Highly recommended. I'll just give it a quick. How long has this stream been going on for? Three hours and 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, getting close to the end. Can't bust that four hour mark. All right. So first things first. Uh, this goes yeah, that way around. So this is the inside. R1206, dude, yeah. Um, I remember you. Welcome back. Or welcome here for the first time as new you.
Uh, don't forget to sign JJ's backplate. I won't forget. done this enough times. How do you do, you do dates in the UK like day, month, year, right? So it would be, uh, day is 31, 12, 18, Can I have a smiley face as well? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Uh, I now have a little marker thing. Oh, that's where all my keycap holders were. Damn. Couldn't find them a minute ago. Uh, all right. Next step. Oh, NY, NY edition. Yeah, I like that actually. I might just add that, add it in here. Uh, wait, what did I do with that pen? Was it this one? Probably this one, right? Also, I also called this one, I also called it my Hitori Hanzo, because I swear I was never going to do another build. I was like, I'm never going to do another customer build live on stream. I get too many requests for him. And then this morning, he was like, hey, do you want to do a build? Would you do one for me, just a special? And I was like, yeah, yeah. Are you going to use it to kill Bill? Who knows? This could be the last board Bill ever sees.
Pants of Bjorn. Yes. And there's a link to it in the about section. I'm pretty sure. This uh, 64 bit set is very, very nice indeed. caps on it in just a second so I'll do that uh, let me finish off the other board here as well oh no they're they're nice dude that not really deadless they are nice man they're I mean that is a uh, oh, sorry Look at that, that is a beautiful, and the machining on that is smooth and it's a very, very nice thing. The knurling on that is very good. It's nice, man, and it's magnetic in there. There's a little magnet in the end of that, in there. Oh, you can't see it. There's a little magnet in there, so these things, let's see it go here. It's cool. They are cool. Uh, let me just put that off to the side. Uh, I'm just going to finish up this other board here, too. Oh, you know what? The screws that I have for this might be the small ones. Hold on one second. You know they are. Whoops. Okay, give me one sec. I'm just going to go grab the other screws that I need. Um, oh, yeah, you're saying the bits aren't that good. Huh, that's interesting. I never really considered it. Um, Sorry, that took an extra second. Um, Twenty people here, just watching me finish up the boards. All right, and how are we doing in those likes? What's uh, what's the current total? Anybody? Uh, I'm personally really into these things at the moment, which are uh, insulated screwdrivers. I don't know why I'm so into them, but man, I love them. Uh, just double checking this is right here. Yeah, that's right. Twenty-two viewers. Come on, smash out those like buttons. Getting close to the end of building this keyboard here. How much time we got left? Almost 30 minutes. Should be able to make that no problem. 
right. I don't seem to have any of the silver markers up here. Oh well, no signature for Joe then. All right, guys, getting real close now. Just a few more minutes. scissors up here anymore. Give me a second. I'm going to go grab some scissors. This is, I know these, these keycaps just come in these cheap plastic bags, but this is my favorite way to put keycaps on. Look at it go here. Dev, could I have a couple red one-ups when you have a second?
Ja. Did you leave him by the door? Oh, just leave him by the door. Is this the carbon fiber skeleton TKL from one of keyboards? Yes, it is. Welcome to the channel, Yari De Leon. If I haven't already said hello. I'm quite close up here to put these keycaps on, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like. Maybe I'll switch back to overhead now.
Okay, JJ, on to yours now, man. Let's get this all settled in. This one I'm going to do the other direction because I'm only doing oh but you know what I'm not going to do that escape key I'll send that to you but I'm not going to do it close now these are the side printed keycaps from one of the keyboards oh you can't see them there can you see them there the light in here is a little bit funny no you really can't huh uh wait if only i had a flashlight which i do have i have one right here Oh, you guys could see it. I couldn't see it. It was too, uh, it was too dark on my monitor. I have such a crappy monitor. I don't know if you guys know that, but this monitor that you can see right here is so crappy. It's like the crappiest crap, crap, crap. It's not even HD. It's um, uh, 1200 by 900. It's not even 720p because it doesn't do 1280. It's like a, oh man. But I'm only at $43.83 on my Super Chats. So i got a ways to go where I can replace that.
JJ says, on my WASD V2, the space enter shift have a line thing that the keycap has to be on and then punched in. I'm not sure what you mean. Like a wire. Oh yeah, you're talking, uh, I know what you're saying. So these stabilizers are the better stabilizers. These are uh, cherry, uh, they're, they're cherry clone. So yeah, uh, uh, what you're talking about is um, co-star stabs. Uh, the co-star stabs means that, uh, yeah, it has a little thing that you put into the bottom of your keycap. Um, in, in my personal opinion, uh, co-star stabs are a pain in the ass. I much prefer the cherry stabs, but it's that sort of attention to detail, I think, that... Um, I think co-star stabs are easier to produce uh, en masse. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, for sure it's a co-star stab. Yeah, these should be much easier. I mean, you can just uh, pull them out and um, the stabilizer is still in place and ready for a new keycap to be put on. Some of these still have the uh, release oil uh, on them. I just want you to know that. Uh, look, I'm just wetting my finger and then wiping it off. Um, it's, it's just release oil. It's not a big deal. In many ways, CoStar feel better. I know, dude, I think it's subjective. Like. It's a stabilizer. It's meant to keep things lined up straight. Uh, but I know large sections of the community agree with you. Uh, I'm just not one of them. I put your spacebar back on backwards too, JJ, because that's how I like it. But I don't know if that's how you like it. I just put it on backwards because that's my style. Um, you can swap it the other way around if you want. Uh, the software you're going to need for this is the... Uh, gone nerd GUI, um, nerdy GUI 1.6. Uh, that's the that's the one you want. Give me just a minute to clean up my desk here. Uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to press like, don't forget to press subscribe. Uh, I'm just about to do the typing test on this beauty. Can go back in there. Uh, these switches uh, gonna go over there, and this is gonna go with this board.
Can you guys see that? I mean, I, I, I maybe it's it is this monitor's that shitty. Oh yeah, you can see that. It's just my shitty monitor. Uh, so this uh, New Year's Eve edition has side printed keycaps with the One Up Keyboards logo in red in the top left. It's Zelio 65 gram, uh, Gone Nerd TKL on silver carbon fiber one up keyboards plates. Get in there nice and tight for this. Typing test. Uh, she's a beauty. Delicious. Uh, just for fun, I'm gonna just for fun, I'm gonna try this one out too. This is the uh, speed switches. Oh yeah, this this one is this one is hot, man. Uh, all right, awesome. Uh, well, there you have it. Uh, the double TKL New Year's Eve special. Um, JJ, I'm gonna reach out to you within a couple minutes of finishing the stream. I actually um, uh, I have to go because uh, there's only a couple minutes left before I hit the four hour mark. Uh, Slobodan Stanovich says, uh, do you have a link to this cabinet? I think I do actually. Can you look in the about section below? Uh, in the about section, you should find links to everything you can see on my desk. If I don't have a link to this cabinet, uh, do let me know and I'll provide one in the future. Well, thanks again for tuning in today, guys. Uh, it's been a lot of fun and, uh, two beautiful keyboards here. Uh, that's it for 2018. Um, 2018, get lost, you bastard. Uh, 2019, looking forward to meeting you. Uh, it's going to be super fun. 423 playbacks. Don't forget, guys, if you haven't already, please press subscribe. 
please press like. Uh, share this video link with your friends. Um, uh, not really Daedalus. Uh, that is correct. It is an Acro Mills cabinet. Um, all right, guys. Well, uh, shit. It's been awesome. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. Thanks again. Thanks for bearing with me through the little error earlier on uh, when the stream cut out. Um, I'm your host, Ski with Pete. It's been fun. Press like, press subscribe, and do the things you're supposed to do. That's it. Peace out.